Matthew Bible Summary to Exodus 12 The Passover is eaten, the sweet bread. They must teach their children what the Passover signifieth, the destruction of the first begotten in Egypt, the robbery of the Egyptians, the going out of the Israelites, the twelfth chapter. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be your chief month. Even of the first month of the year shall it be unto you. Speak ye unto all the fellowship of Israel, saying, That they take the tenth day of this month to every household a sheep. If the household be too few for a sheep, then let him and his neighbor that is next unto his house take according to the number of the souls, and count unto a sheep according to every man's eating, a sheep without spot, and a male of one year old shall it be. And from among the lambs and the goats shall ye take it. And ye shall keep him in until the fourteenth day of the same month. And every man of the multitude of Israel shall kill him about even. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper doorpost of the houses wherein they eat him. And they shall eat the flesh the same night roast with fire, and with unleavened bread, and with sour herbs they shall eat it. See that ye eat not thereof raw, nor sodden in water, but roasted with fire, both the head, feet, and pertinence together. And see that ye let nothing of it remain unto the morning, if aught remain, burn it with fire. Of this manner shall ye eat it, with your loins girded, and shoes on your feet, and your staves in your hands. And ye shall eat it in haste, for it is the Lord's Passover. For I will go about in the land of Egypt this same night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both of man and beast, and upon all the gods of Egypt will I, the Lord, do execution. And the blood shall be unto you a token upon the houses wherein ye are. For when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you a remembrance, and ye shall keep it holy unto the Lord. Even throughout your generations after you shall ye keep it holy day, that it be a custom for ever. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread, so that even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be plucked out from Israel. The first day shall be a holy feast unto you, and the seventh also. There shall be no manner of work done in them, save about that only which every man must eat, that only may ye do. And see that ye keep you to unleavened bread, for upon that same day I will bring your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore ye shall observe this day and all your children after you, that it be a custom for ever. The first month and the fourteenth day of the month at even, 
ye shall eat sweet bread unto the twenty-first day of the month at even again. Seven days see that there be no leavened bread found in your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread, that soul shall be rooted out from the multitude of Israel. Whether he be a stranger or born in the land, Therefore see that ye eat not leavened bread, but in all your habitations eat sweet bread. And Moses called for the elders of Israel, and said unto them, Choose out and take to every household a sheep, and kill Passover, and take a bunch of isop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike it upon the upper post and on the two side posts, and see that none of you go out at the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will go about and smite Egypt. And when he seeth the blood upon the upper door post and on the two side posts, he will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer to come into your house to plague you. Therefore see that thou observe this thing, that it be an ordinance to thee and thy sons for ever. And when ye be come into the land which the Lord will give you according as he hath promised, see that ye keep this service. And when your children ask you, What manner of service is this ye do? Ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, which passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt, as he smote the Egyptians and saved our houses. Then the people bowed themselves and worshipped. And the children of Israel went, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. And at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his seat, unto the firstborn of the captive that was in prison, and all the firstborn of cattle. Then Pharaoh arose the same night, and all his servants, and all the Egyptians. And there was a great crying throughout Egypt, for there was no house where there was not one dead. And he called unto Moses and Aaron by night, saying, Rise up, and get you out from among my people, both ye and and also the children of Israel, and go and serve the Lord, as ye have said. And take your sheep and your oxen with you, as ye have said, and depart, and bless me also. And the Egyptians were fierce upon the people, and made haste to send them out of the land, for they said, we be all dead men. And the people took the dough before it was soured, which they had in store, and bound it in clothes, and put it upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the saying of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver, and jewels of gold, and raiment, and the Lord gat the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and so they borrowed and robbed the Egyptians. Thus took the children of Israel their journey from Ramesses to Sukkot, six hundred thousand men afoot beside children, and much common people went also with them, and sheep, and oxen, and cattle exceeding much. 
and they baked sweet cakes of the dough which they brought out of Egypt, for it was not soured, because they were thrust out of Egypt and could not tarry, neither had they prepared any other provision of meat. And the time of the dwelling of the children of Israel, which they dwelled in Egypt, was four hundred and thirty years. And when the four hundred and thirty years were expired, even the selfsame day departed all the hosts of the Lord out of the land of Egypt. This is a night to be observed to the Lord because he brought them out of the land of Egypt. This is a night of the Lord to be kept of all the children of Israel and of their generations after them. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the manner of Passover. There shall no stranger eat thereof, but all the servants that are, brought, that are bought for money shall ye circumcise, and then let them eat thereof. A stranger and a hired servant shall not eat thereof. In one house shall it be eaten. Ye shall carry none of the flesh out at the doors. Moreover, see that ye break not a bone thereof. All the multitude of the children of Israel shall observe it. If a stranger dwell among you, and will hold Passover unto the Lord, let him circumcise all that be males, and then let him come and observe it, and be taken as one that is born in the land. No uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. One manner of law shall be unto them that are born in the land, and unto the strangers that dwell among you. And all the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. And even the selfsame day did the Lord bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt with their armies.